Hey babes, Jin here. Welcome back to Blindly Honestly, and if you are new, I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So, today's video is going to be a product review, and I'm going to be testing out and reviewing the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick, and the shade I got is Baked. So, I am on the Sephora website right now. This product is $24. There is about one ounce of product, 28 grams. It comes in Blaze, which is a deep bronze, and then Baked, which is a lighter bronze, and that's the shade I got. It says that this matte bronze stick is for face and body, and it provides instant hydration and a glowing look. It enhances your skin tone to get a touch of sun-kissed radiance with Milk Makeup's universally flattering matte bronzer with mango and avocado essence extracts combined with Milk Makeup's Milk Melt technology to instantly absorb into the skin quickly and easily. It is paraben-free, eco-conscious, innovative product made of the best possible ingredients this product is vegan and cruelty free so if you're wondering why I look so pale it's because I have not put any contour on at all because I wanted to do this as a contouring instead of just a bronzing so I'm going just to apply it where I would normally apply my bronzer and then I'm going to use this angled brush to buff it out and this is just from Unimax it is a brand I buy off of Amazon I already swatched this and you can look on my Instagram and I will insert the swatch I did here as well. And it looks like it's a good shade for my skin. I am a little nervous just because I've never used a bronzing contouring stick before. And I don't feel like wearing my ears so I'm just going to pin my hair back and I look goofy as hell but it's okay. I'm going to apply this where I would normally apply my contour powder and then we'll see how it looks. It kind of smells like Play-Doh. That is weird that it smells like Play-Doh. So now that I look all freaky deaky, I'm going to go ahead and start buffing out. So they weren't lying, it does buff out really well. But I feel like I need a different brush for this. And this is just my normal brush that I use to blend out my powder contour, so. I'll go back to this one for my nose, it's angled. So I am having a bit of a trouble buffing it out, but I think it's mainly because my hands suck lately. Like I have no strength in this hand lately and I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I'm really happy with how this bronze looks. It's a nice natural bronze. It literally looks like I've just been out in the sun, which is perfect since it is summertime. So I'm gonna wear it out and about tomorrow and see how it looks during the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face and I'll be right back. So we are back. I went ahead and added my blush and highlighter and I'm honestly really, really loving how this looks. It looks very natural. Um, I personally like to have my face a bit more chiseled than this, but I feel like just doing this still makes my face look good. Like if I want to do a no makeup makeup contour, this would be the product I would use. Um, I feel like it doesn't quite stay where you want it to stay because as I was blending it out it kept moving all over That's why my whole face looks really really bronze right now <laughs> Like compared to my neck and down my face looks very very bronzed 
which means isn't a bad thing. And my nose looks very chiseled. <laughs> so I think what I could do is maybe when I do my foundation and my contour, I could put the Milk Makeup bronzing stick with the rest of the creams and then go over it with the powder. More of that contoured look that I like to go for. Because you know, when you're a bigger girl, you gotta use makeup to get your jawline <laughs> and your cheekbones because it's really hard sometimes when you're bigger to get your cheekbones to show. <laughs> so I think I will give this product um, maybe a seven out of 10, just because it doesn't quite do what I would want it to do. I feel like it's better for a over contour or under contour, not a contour by itself like I wanted. I'm still trying to find the perfect contour stick to make my daily makeup process shorter. So I will keep looking, but I will definitely keep using this product because it does deliver the uh, shade and color is there. It's very pigmented, but it, like it says, it buffs in really nicely once you get a brush that works with it. This brush was way too big for the buffing out. But this brush worked perfectly. So yeah, that's about it, guys. I mean, for $24, you do get a lot of product. That's a whole ounce. Let me go ahead and we're going to see how much is in this without losing it. It's already getting. So that's all of it. So you do get a fair amount. And I will warn you, this product smells like play-doh <laughs> and in case you're wondering that was not a plastic case around it it's just all products and now my things all nasty but I will keep playing with this and see if I can get it to work better from my first impression point of view I do like it I wish it did more contouring than just bronzing but then again it is a bronzing stick not a contouring stick Maybe if I got the darker one and just did more thinner lines, it would do the job. I'm not sure, but I mean, I'm still really happy with how my face looks right now. I don't really have any complaints other than I look like I've been in the sun all day. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this short little review. If you have any questions about this product, go ahead and put them down below because you know I love hearing from you. If you have any suggestions for a great contouring stick that you guys want to share with me, Go ahead and drop that down below too so I can check it out. So if you like this video, as always, please like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you have the bell hit so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I upload every Wednesday and every Friday and Friday nights at 8 p.m. Pacific because I live in California. I go live to hang out with my subscribers, chat, give beauty advice and tips. Just to update you guys on like my day-to-day -day life, what's going on, what I have planned, all that kind of good stuff. So if you're ever interested in hanging out and asking some questions that you don't want to post in the comment box, go ahead and stop by on one of my Friday night live streams. So I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Open eye. Feel the waves cut through me. Hypnotized by the sounds of